That's my intro. It's just time to talk gear. That's just what it is, man. So let's get into it. Um, you know, just want to go over some of the obvious stuff dealing with gear. The sword, yeah, even at max, focus on two things, heroes and troops. That's just what it is. So, you know what I mean? You're going to focus on those two things. When it's talking about hero, primarily it's just talking about what you're going to be using when you're doing the arenas, the campaigns, the um, the towers, things of that nature. That's going to be dealing with your hero. That's dealing with attack. That's dealing with health, things of that nature. And troops, of course, are dealing with the type of troops, which is shooters, fighters, attack. This is basic information. What you need to understand is that the sword, no, no matter what level sword, is always going to be dealing with attack and health. Um, the helmet is always going to be dealing with um, um, health, defense, and speed, um, which to me is one of my favorite my favorite uh, items because the speed becomes very important inside places like arena, campaign, and you know those different areas. But it also focuses on dealing with the defense. So one of the reasons why this is important is because sometimes you get those little boxes that ask you what uh, um, I, what 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 gear you want to use so you might want to prioritize based off of what gear you want to level up first so once again the helmet is going to be dealing with health defense and speed for the hero and uh troop is going to be dealing with the defense of the shooters and the drivers when it comes to the male or the cape or the actual armor part that's going to be focusing on dealing with the attack health and defense of the hero and with the fighter defense and gathering speeds and finally dealing with the boots it's going to be health defense speeds drivers attack troop march speed so you know um the reason why i say finally because when you're dealing with gear the primary focus is going to be dealing with the rings this is where you have to make a decision on what you want to focus on when it comes to the ring Truth be told, the health ring is one of the best rings in general. Adding health to troops is very... Every last one of these games, health being added to your troops has been a vital part of troop formation. Um, just to focus on what else it does for the hero, um, it adds health to the hero and it adds critical resistant rate bonus. Now, I do want to say to people, man, like they do give recommendations for what heroes um, for the health ring. They say mines. Uh, Yuri, Leon, Jeff, and Liadrin. But trust me, this health ring is beneficial on every type of hero. You know what I mean? This critical resistance and troop health when dealing with the troops is big. That's not to put down the the critical the critical uh, uh, ring, which is, you know, they say should be equipped the Lilith, Melina, Vicky, Gorky, and Whip. What this does is that attack, uh, critical hit rate increase, critical damage increase, and then for troops, it's, it's increasing troop attack and troop critical damage. So this is a, a, fame, uh, a ring that a lot of people prefer a lot of time because of the troop attack and the troop, troop critical damage. They prefer this ring a lot. And you're going to mostly find it on Lilith for the for the most part and um, and and Vicky whip. You're going to mostly find it on those those type heroes. And it is a very, very, very good ring. Very good ring. To me, the, the ring that we seem to get the most of, but I think is the least beneficial ring, is going to be the indestructible power, um, the blue ring. It has defense and block rate increase, which is real good in campaign, but on the troop aspects, it's adding troop defense and reduce the critical damage received by troops. You know, so this is just a, a, debuff, a debuff ring for, I mean, of sort. It's not a real debuff ring. But it, it reduces the critical damage. That means the extra damage that's going to be given to the troops when critical is being applied. 
And to me, this is the, the least most valuable ring out of the group. A really big ring, I think that is, is probably the most underestimated and the, one of the most needed rings is the, it's called the First Whisper. Uh, it's, it, they primarily want you to, to put them on Lilith, Melina, Vicky, Gorky, and Veach. Sort of like with the other critical ring, what this has is a pierce rate increase. And, and when it's dealing with troops, it's dealing with defense pierced against enemy troops. What pierce means is that it's bypassing armor, bypassing the defense, and going straight to the health. So it's going to be 20% of, of uh, increase for just pierce uh, damage when dealing with the troops. And when you're, when you're dealing with it inside the campaign, it's going to be pierce rate, 20% increase in the rate of how much it's going to pierce. So this is probably one of the most most uh damaging rings because it's bypassing the shields getting straight to the health of the of the troop or the or the hero and causing a massive amount of damage and can really kill a a, a a troop when you put extra that has extra defense extra health real easy. the dominator ring man you know they haven't given this at given this to us at all we haven't seen it at all um, it doesn't have any troop that it says it should be applied to. You know, when you, you automatically just assume this is probably the the best ring. You know what I mean? But we wouldn't really know. It, it looks like it because that 30% attack, 30% troop defense, 30% health, not to mention the 8,000 attack, 26,000 uh, health, um, and another almost 3,000 defense is very, very, very high. But more importantly, the amount of power. The amount of power is just insane. Um, 432,555. In comparison, all of the other rings is, I think, 103 something. Um, yeah, they all the same thing at 103, 814. You can check them all out. The power is the same on, on all of those, 103, 814 for max. The Dominator ring, which I don't think anyone has, at least no one and my nation has it. It gives you a total power of 432,555. That's added to the hero power, which is just insane. Um, I guess with all those buffs that's on it, uh, as far as troop attack and troop defense and troop health, it's giving this ring a lot of power. If I had to choose one ring out of the rings they do allow us, I would suggest to everyone to focus more so on the piercing ring. If you put five... Uh, um, um, piercing rings on your heroes and you put it whether it's in pvp or you put it inside campaign that's going to be a hundred percent pierce against enemy troops or pierce rate increase so if you have a high pierce rate increase as it is then you add a hundred more percent to it it's just insane if i had a one really big suggestion i have out for everyone i would get i would tell them to either click on your power or click on your face and go down to more. I mean, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not, that's not even it. Go to your barracks formation. Um, click on your little icon. Look at your troop bonuses, your, your total bonuses to, to see, like, for instance, the defense pierced against enemy troops. You know what I mean? Get to know what your numbers are so you can know what you want to focus on increasing. There is another place which I was about to mention, which is if you're clicking on your power or you're clicking on your, your your icon and you go to more info and then you see where it says territory info. Um, you click that little that little shield there and you can really get the look at your um, at your stats. You really get to look at your stats. You want to look better at the stats you want to look. Click on the siege. It will tell you for each one of your formations. Um, they, we don't have troop file formation five yet. So that's maybe that's a pre, oh, that's four. I'm bugging. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, get to know your, your, your primary group, see what their stats are. You can click the little three little thing in the, in the corner and choose between looking at your siege battle stats, your field stats and your territory defense stats. You know what I mean? You could click between those, get to know that, get to find out what yours are is so that you could be able to know what you want to increase you will also get the it breaks it down for instance when it says shooter attack you you see the tech plus 40 percent um it tells you which hero is giving you extra veach with 45 vicky with 45 your equipment you know it's, it really really breaks it down so get familiarize yourself with this 
in order to know where you need to increase yourself in what area. It breaks it down, shooter, fighter, driver. It breaks it down. Um, you also want to be familiar with the fact that you see when it says alliance territory plus 13%. That's important because when you go into places like Lost Lands, uh, you cross nation, that territory, Alliance territory bonus does not come with you. Uh, privilege is, is like stuff that you might get from uh, maybe getting a, um, a, a, a tag or, or uh, maybe being the R5 or increased in, in uh, giving one of the God of War titles or whatever. This, this will increase your, your privileges. So um, it's important to get to know your stats to really get to see what you need to work on. You know, you know, so. Oh, and FYI, these aren't my real stats. We are currently in SVS and I have different troops inside my formations. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> you know, because a you know, quick farm guy for you guys, you're always going to have one uh, epic and one exceptional hero that's uh, that's exceedingly good at at farming. You know, it's going to increase this, the, 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 the gathering speed. Um, there's always one at one, one at fifteen, one at ten, and I would I would suggest that if you're gonna do farming, the best is gonna if you you can farm all four, but make the the alliance farm uh food and use the two food heroes and add Jaina to that hero pool. Uh, so just real quick, just wanted to make sure you guys understood that about the stats along with what's going on with this gear. So uh, just FYI, guys. Close to 85% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Uh, the, the subscriber base is very important because it increases the algorithm, getting this, this these videos out to people who don't play the game. As of recently, you you can actually get to see that a recent message. Uh, um, uh, I have a few of them. I, I can't really see it right now, but um, a recent message. One of the players actually... Thanks for his my one of my videos just came across the screen and he made him download the game. Currently we had pot we had about one million downloads. That's probably back around six hundred thousand players actual. So um, you know as people download them on multiple advice devices. But what we want to do is we want to drive that number up and get as many people to the game so that we can make bigger servers, have more people playing. On, on servers so that we can fill up alliances, maybe get 10 alliances with over a billion early in the game, especially with the server migration coming where some of the servers will be getting bigger and some of them will be getting smaller and eventually they're going to have server merges. I absolutely do not want to make it seem like I am not appreciative to the 1,287 subscribers that I do have. You know, especially with over 7,000 views in the past 28 days. So, you know what I mean? I thank you guys for, for liking. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. More videos coming. Stay tuned for this weekend. Um, if you haven't if you haven't been paying attention, I currently have a list out about should I do one long video on scrolls or three short videos. Um, currently, the one long video is running out with only nine votes. Get your votes in there if you want to see shorter videos or just one super long videos. I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually not a fan of long videos because people don't really have a time to watch 20, 30 minute videos. But when it comes to scrolls, there is just so much information to cover on dealing with the scrolls. Just to give you guys an idea, it's just so much information. When it comes to these scrolls, man. So uh, it, it'd be important for you to put out what you want, what you guys want to see. Because I'd rather give my fan base what they want to be able to see. And currently, we're looking at we're going to have one long video, which is probably going to be about an hour long. You know what I mean? Or, 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 or longer. Because it's going to be, it's a lot to cover when it comes to dealing with these scrolls. And so far, if you guys are wondering, there still has been no equipment dropped for this 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 last six spot here and we'll still say coming soon we still don't have anything on that so uh hope you guys liked the video if you did hit that like button comment rate subscribe